Hello, everybody. This is Steve Schneider. Welcome to COM 400. Um, I'll do some of these videos from time to time and maybe more often if people seem to like them and they seem to teach people. So what I thought I'd do here is just spend a few minutes, um, probably less than five, and um, walk you through the two main kind of components of the site and uh, of the class. And um, yeah, let's see if we can figure that out. So we're going to start here with, the, with, the, uh, with Blackboard. So I've refashioned Blackboard a bit. Um, when you log into the class, you should get dumped into this um, screen, the course wiki syllabus, um, and other things. These other documents down there, meet the instructor, how to email, you, email your professor and etiquette, which browser to use, all that stuff. I didn't write. It looks good. Um, I put my name and address in there. I think that's my office address, but really, uh, the way to get me is by email. And um, I am going to run these online office hours by Google Chat tonight, Monday nights, 8 to 9. And then Tuesday, Thursday mornings, 9.30 to 11. But really, the, from my perspective, the course is running in this course wiki. Um, we'll have discussions, um, and all the course material will be sitting in the wiki. So let me walk through the Blackboard. Um, you got the first link to the wiki. Um, each week, I'll create a new getting started or doing what you got to do and try to give you this outline of what you need to do every day. Um, and... Um, so next week, there'll be a week two getting started, and I'll try to get those up by, by about Thursday or so. Um, the discussions, um, all our discussion forums uh, will be listed here. Um, so far, there's one for questions. It looks like there's an unread question. Let me go check it out. Um, how's it intended to be submitted? And um, yeah, I'm gonna just... Um, Yep, I'm just going to answer this question while we're here. Um, so there we go. So there's the discussions. Um, again, always put your questions there, and I do try to answer them pretty quickly. And we're going to have a discussion about the types of documentation, the modes of production, and the techniques. And then you'll see I've created a discussion forum for project one. Um, and may do so for subsequent projects once I get a feel for how, what it, how everybody works. Let me run through this. Here's project one. Um, and the instructions, which I'll show you in a moment, ask you to create a, um, a thread and then to publish in there. And that's what I've done. I've gone ahead and we created a thread with my last name, comma, first name. Um, then I created two replies to that. Here's my project conceptualization, and here's my project design. So you're trying to get your project one to look like this. And then I'll go ahead and I'll add another one for the implementation and also ultimately for the evaluation. Okay. Um, from time to time, I'll make announcements, and they're going to be here. And I usually uh, send them to you immediately so you get them however you set up your announcements uh, and notifications from Blackboard. Um, if you open the wiki, um, it should open a new window for you. It should resolve to this GitHub. And, um, and now welcome to Tiddly Wiki. If I was bad, and left something in the box until I figured that out. You might have to close the search box to get that empty. Um, here's what the, why don't I just expand this? Um, here's what Tiddly Wiki looks like and some quick um, introduction to it. Um, up right hand corner is always going to be this little menu bar. The home button resets everything to the default when it starts. Close button closes all Tiddlers, so it leaves you with a blank screen. And this will close your menu, so you've got a totally blank screen and nothing to do. Again, hitting home should open up your default tiddlers. Exposing the menu will bring you this menu over here. Um, this menu should open to recent, and these are all the tiddlers that I've modified on the 29th of August. Of course, syllabus, in fact, almost all of them have been modified today because I went back and changed a few things. So I've done a lot of editing. Um, you can always navigate to the most recent ones um, or to any of the tiddlers by, um, by type or, or by name. So here's the course syllabus. Um, 
and hopefully you've read through some of that and here's a tiddler that lists and describes all the projects um, and there should be a project one tiddler in there somewhere so here's project one tiddler um, and then there should be a separate one for conceptualization and design um, and so I'm just going to go back home again and um, the hello world tiddler welcomes you to tiddly wiki and on the show and go buttons show opens the tiddler beneath the show button generates a hide button you can then hide it the go button will navigate to that tiddler this one happens to be called welcome to tiddly wiki tells you this is a wiki written in tiddly wiki um, navigation hints begin again close all show and hide the menu uh, this is what internal links look like um, an external link, close a tiddler, here's the close button in the upper right hand corner. Um, looks like I've taken out fold, I don't know, fold doesn't seem to be helpful for me, and buttons. A um, little description of what a wiki is and a tiddly wiki in particular, it's really cool. A lot of you folks are computer science majors, you might find this really interesting. I hope you do and um, if there's enough interest then we'll just sort of turn the course over to writing documentation in tiddly wiki. Not about Tiddly Wiki, but into the Wiki, and that's pretty cool too. So we'll see where things go based on this first form. Um, just to give you an idea of what you do, the little pull down, the, the tool button here gives you access to all the other tools. We can edit this Tiddler. Um, this is what the Tiddler looks like. There's not much here. Um, here's how you display the navigation hints. Um, this is a Tiddler called Navigation Hints. Um, here's how you display what's a Wiki. Um, and um, but you can play with it and you'll see how it goes. Um, so I'm going to close this and if you want to see what the course is all about um, and I'm going to review this very briefly um, we've got some really specific learning objectives mostly I want you to explore different types of documentation production modes techniques trends and phases so, so far we've identified two types of documentation, process and user documents, um, two production modes, print and screencast. Um, and we're working with so far two techniques, dynamic and static. I've identified um, several trends and suggest that software is, or documentation is currently customized and personalized based on an information architecture, touches this multi theme, multi-platform, multi-modality, multimedia. Um, increasingly contributed uh, or uh, um, documentation is written by programmers and it's increasingly social, user-generated, user-inspired, user-evaluated. So those are our trends. And the course objective is to explore the different types, production modes, techniques, trends, and phases. And then you will have produced at the end of the course documentation that is of different types delivered in multiple production modes using multiple techniques and illustrating multiple trends um, and so that's really what the course is all about um, I'm not using a textbook this wiki is our textbook and collaboratively meaning you guys will fill out forms and write discussion posts I'll interpret the information and generate it in the wiki um, we're going to explore these objectives, the goals and skills of what you, the students in the class have, and then hopefully tailor projects that match those goals and skills. We're going to flesh out this framework by expanding our understanding of and definition of techniques and modes, um, add other types, and potentially even add additional trends. Um, you know, the course title and the course description not really very clear or contemporary. Um, so rather, it's called, of course, it's officially called computer software documentation. Um, we're really about digital documentation, the documentation of the digital world. Um, and then I've annotated the course description. Um, so we're not look focused. We're looking at professional documentation, not just computer documentation. Um, we're not going to utilize modern desktop publishing. Um, no such thing as modern desktop publishing. Instead, we're going to utilize the digital network techniques. And we're not, we don't transfer information, we share it. And we don't transfer it onto the printed page, we share it into the digital web. So um, that's a very brief overview of the class. Um, 
I'm interested in having you folks, everybody in the class, begin to think about what is documentation. And I start my, like most people, um, I start everything in looking in Wikipedia. So I'd ask that you go ahead and, and read the Wikipedia documentation, Wikipedia software documentation pages. Um, so the documentation is the broad base, and the software documentation is a little bit narrower. Um, and we're going to blend the two into understanding, for our purposes, what documentation looks like. Um, so you should read the, do your quick readings, you should read through the course syllabus, which I've brought up here, and I suspect that most of you have looked at, and I ask you to do the COM 400, which is introduction, which is a Google form. Um, asks your major, asks if you code, have you made screen videos or screencasts, ever made screen grabs, what operating systems do you use, what do you think of when you hear documentation, what do you want to learn from this class? Um, and then I'll interpret that again in the wiki so that you've got an understanding of, of where the folks are who are, who are coming into the class. Um, whenever you come to this wiki, you'll always start in um, these two tiddlers. Um, I'll probably make Hello World a little smaller, but the, you always want to look and see what's new. So currently what's new is Hello World. Um, now the stuff that I've added, I should tag this to what's new. I'll show you how this works. It's really cool, actually. Um, add this, and I think it's um, new in 400. So I'll add a tag of new in 400 to Project One conceptualization and even Project One design, since those are two things that I've just added. Um, new in 400. Added and then hopefully when we get to the home page, we'll see that these are listed as what's new. Um, looks like I need a little bit of editing on my what's new page. Um, so that's actually pulling from COM 400 what's new. So let's go look at that tiddler. Um, this turned out to be more of a wiki editing than I expected it to be. And um, let me just answer that door and um, you should be good to go. Okay, so hopefully that helps you a little bit see what we're doing and where we're going.